Regardless of what happens tonight, will we hear from the president? Will he come out and make a statement? I, I think it's going to depend on what time the vote is. Um, so I don't, I don't want to commit. I'm sure in some way, shape, or form we'll have some kind of comment. And um, similar to the question you were asked here, but, but is the president, no matter what happens, prepared to take responsibility for the outcome of this bill? What, in what way? It, it, is I mean, it whether it succeeds or fails. His name is on it. A lot of people think so. Well, I, I think that in the sense that we've been very clear about uh, this is a priority of ours and we worked with them. But I, again, I go back to it, at the end of the day, we can't make people vote. Uh, we've done everything we can to listen to them, to incorporate their thoughts, to incorporate their um, ideas, to make the bill as best we can. But it's a, it's a balancing act, make no mistake about it, that there's a full spectrum of folks in the House uh, that have disparate desires. But I think we can all commit that this is the one vehicle that's going to repeal something that almost every single Republican that I'm aware of has pledged to do if they were reelected or elected. And I think that there's a, um, a desire to, that will we understand that not every member is going to find this perfect. That's what happens when you need to get, in this case, 216 votes. But it's the best uh, bill that takes into consideration um, all of the concerns and all of the goals and all the values. And I understand that in a lot of cases, some of, the, some of it isn't a question of, of, um, of the policy. It's a question of the timing and some of the things that people want that are happening in phase three and phase one. But as we've addressed, the, the bird rule, which is, you know, to most people, this arcane thing, probably even in the House, that don't have to deal with it in the Senate, um, that deals with whether or not, and if, and if there is a, if it is loaded up with things that are stricken, uh, then it doesn't serve us any good. I think that we have put together a very comprehensive approach to addressing how to actually repeal and how to actually replace. I think the President walked through with the House Freedom Caucus today several of the administrative acts that, that Secretary Price would be taken uh, in accordance with the authority that was granted to him uh, by the Obamacare legislation and by some of the actions that Secretary Sebelius took back in 2009. Um, there's a lot of concern among members about some of the sequencing on things. And I think that we have continued to not, so this isn't just about policy. Some of it's about sequencing and timing. And I think the president and the vice president and the rest of the team have done a lot to reassure them on the sequencing and how this thing is going gonna, is gonna to act. Uh, so um, so that, that discussion, I think, has continued to be very productive to reassure members how this thing is going gonna, is gonna to happen.